Hi there, I'm Tom from BB Classics and today I'm going to be demonstrating to you how our fan and thermostat kit operates. Okay, so the fan's got two terminals. One is earth to the battery, the other one goes to live to the battery but through this thermostat switch. Now, if we look at the switch, you can see it's got three terminals. C, number two, and number one. Now it's important that the number one terminal is left blank, so we're all, all we're using is the number two and the C terminal. Now, obviously, you'd normally this, this bulb here would be inserted into the cooling system, but for this demonstration, we're going to be doing it at air temperature. Okay? So, if we move the dial down, you can hear a switch. As you get to the switch, the fan kicks in. Okay? And as the temperature goes down, the fan will then go off. Okay? So, what we're going to do is we're just going to raise this up, set it at 30 degrees. Okay? So, when the thermostat reaches 30 degrees, the fan will kick in. And then as the temperature goes down, it will switch off. We're going to demonstrate this using the blowtorch to warm up the thermostat. Now, we're going to gently warm it up, and when it gets to 30 degrees, the fan's going to turn on. Okay, and there it comes on the fan. Now, the fan will stay on until the temperature decreases back down again. So what we're going to do is we'll just, to help it cool down, we're going to put this into the cup of water. Okay, it can take a minute or so to turn off. But as soon as that temperature goes down, it's going to switch off, and there you go, it's off. Okay, and well, that's about it. With these two terminals, they can be connected either way around. If you turn it the opposite way around, the fan actually spins in reverse. So it can thus push or pull the air, depending on whether you want to fit it to the front of the radiator or the back. Okay, you'll see now the fan will spin the opposite direction.